Hey guys, the old man's back again. I've actually brought one small project forward because uh, it's been bugging me and I wanted to get that out of the way before I get on to the next thing which hopefully is going to be a way to stop my chuck unscrewing off the spindle if I go into reverse. I've, I've got to do some work on that. Uh, I've got an idea and <laughs> we'll see how it works out later. Anyway this is just trying to get the um, twisting slop out of the tailstock. The quill you know, had a, a very, I'll show you at the beginning of the video, you'll see it's quite significant and it's been bugging me. But uh, it's meant doing a lot of fiddle, which I think I explain, and of course making such a a tiny piece, as you'll see, it's, <laughs> it's really not easy to show very much of it. Uh, so much of what I've done is explaining the problem and how I intend to get around it. Initially, in fact, I don't think I could decide what to do. Um, but gradually I sort of got the ideas and uh, honed it down to a fairly specific approach. Anyway, enough waffle. Uh, here's the video stuff and um, uh, thank you for watching. Hope to be back before long, although we've got some... Uh, <laughs> I know I go on about the weather. We've got some very, very cold weather coming next week and that's going to limit me. But uh, we'll see how we go. Okay. Bye for now. I'm going to try and bring this uh, job forward actually. You can probably see. Can you see that movement? Let me come in a bit tighter. Now may be very hard to see that I'm exaggerating it because of my hand movement. Very significant movement. It's been there far too long. And uh, a few weeks or months ago, Randy Richard did a job on his tail stock. Same sort of problem. So uh, I'm going to try and sort this out. It's been like it too long. So there's the uh, there's the uh, contents of the tailstock. Thread isn't too bad. It's got some wear on it, but I'm not too worried about that. Now this keyway is uh, measures up at the moment anyway on a quick measure one five five. And whether it was meant to be 150 originally, I'm not sure. But the general plan is, I think, to uh, try and make a new key. Now, I think you can see it. It's, um, it's pinned. So there's the pin. Or, the, sorry, the pin and the key. And in fact, what appears to have happened... I suspect the key is fairly hard, but, and I don't know whether I can show this, let's try and get set up. What we're getting is, can you see that, can you see that slight wobble? Now if I try and twist that, it's not too bad, you know, rotate it, but over time, maybe because the pin is slightly slack in the casting, um, we've got a slight rocking. You might see that. So I think what we'll have to do, if possible, is to make a new key and pin and actually make the sides out of square so that there's, there's a very slight taper on it so as to get rid of that uh, rotation in the uh, quill. We'll have to see.
I think the answer is, well, there are two options. One is, one is to cut a new keyway, 3 sixteenths instead of 332, but I don't want to do that. I think the thing we'll try is, I've got some drill rod here. It's a weird size, actually. Seems like 13 mil, but <laughs> I've had it for ages. Um, we'll chuck this up, turn it down, uh, we'll turn down to make a new pin and I'll probably make the pin twice as long initially so we've got something for, for um, a collet to hold and then we'll mill both sides of this to get close to the key size but slightly oversize and uh, then I guess some very careful work with a needle file so as to make it very slightly tapered I don't know whether that sketch is supposed to illustrate what I'm going to try and achieve. Slightly taper on the key section. As I said just now, I'm going to make this <clears throat> longer than the actual pin is required. And I've, sh I've shot myself in the foot because I've taken the uh, tailstock apart and ideally I want a centre in here because this has got just a little bit of flex, but uh, I'll have to cope. Have to cope without. I'm heading for um, one eight six. So I've got quite a lot to take off, so I won't bother you with much of this. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's got to take it a bit at a time. Well, that's got down to size, but very slow because this amount of stick out getting down to three sixteenths, quite a lot of spring in it. But uh, it's worked out all right. Very slow cut. So we'll take this out. I think I'll just chop that off and then uh, we'll set it up in the mill. Right, well here's the setup in the mill. Uh, I've got my table mounted uh, stop on here. This has got a little bit of safety projection from the collet. Uh, 7 16 carbide end mill. About the closest I've got. Um, We've got to take about 175 thou off each side and this here isn't faced yet. Uh, there's no need because this has all got to be shortened down so I'm going to machine it first and then reduce it in size to suit. So it's all sort of on the fly, plenty of fiddle, <laughs> plenty of fiddle. Well, I'll just take, keep taking some cuts on that, get part the way down, and uh, then we'll flip it over and start measuring. Well, that's. Uh, 170 thou, so I'm stopping 7 thou short. We'll uh, flip it round, take another 170 off the other side, and then I'll take it out and measure and see where we are. The main thing is that we finish up just a little bit plus so I can do some hand filing. I've discovered, incidentally, that the old key has actually worn itself to a bit of a taper as well as the keyway so it's a sort of combination problem anyway that's uh, nearly done one side we'll carry on with the other when I get to it
Well, I've measured up. I need about another five. Well, <laughs> not about. I want five thou off each side to leave me enough for my filing to profile. And then we've got to trim it uh, this way. Flip it over. see if that works out. We'll take it out and uh, check the size. Now I've got to take 237. Well I'll take 235 and reduce the uh, depth on this piece. That should be alright. We'll take the rest of the cuts. I'm not going to take heavy ones. I think 20,000 is enough. I'm getting pretty close. I'm going to take uh, a couple of ten, two tens and uh, check it. Should be getting pretty close. In theory, there's a little bit more to go. It's just eyeball. It's very close. Very, very close. I think I'll take another five and then we'll do some checks. We're well, pretty much to size now. This is such a small piece it's hard to even show what's going on. So we're down to an eighth in, well not thickness, depth. And now we've got to do some hand filing on the sides of this to get it to uh, hopefully a decent fit in the keyway. Uh, here's the old uh, key with its pin. Now here's the new one, this uh, fits in the casting alright, but one thing which I I suppose I should have expected. Uh, this tailstock has a very short travel, it's only about two and a half inches on the thread. Um, so we got, I don't know whether you'll be able to see any of what I'm doing here, we got the new pin filed to size and there's very little movement there but I found just now that when I came down to this end I'm just not showing this, here we go it actually just gets tight but initially it wouldn't go any further than that. And of course what has happened over time, and incidentally I can't put this in from the back, from the back of the tail stock, it has to go in from the front with this first. And that means that the uh, keyway has to engage on the key at this end before you slide down to here. So what's happened over time of course is uh, this front end has a bit of wear. This new key wouldn't uh, 
wouldn't go all the way. So I've had to free that off. Now it goes through and I'm hoping I can get this back in the tailstock. It's all part and parcel of the wear. Anyway, we've got the key made. It's uh, slightly slightly longer than the old one. But I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to put this back in the tailstock and see if we can get it together. Well, I managed to get the uh, quill back in. It's generally a bit tighter, mainly because the key is slightly plus. And movement, it's not zero, it's not zero, but it's probably about you, you see my <laughs> my hands are moving which makes it hard to uh, hard to tell see that just a little bit very slight it's an improvement and uh, making a key of that shape as a custom is a bit fiddly so I've got to put the back end stuff all together and lubricate. Now what I'm not sure about yet, I'll see what you guys think. Um, this machine is not used a huge lot and uh, I don't know whether to harden it, the key that is. Let's take that out. You can see the key sitting there now. So I think I'll put this up as a video and I'll see what you guys think. I can easily harden that. Uh, but I mean it's fairly tough material anyway. So uh, I'm not sure. I suppose being lazy trying to avoid another stage. But I'll, I'll see what you guys say in the comments. Okay. So that's it anyway. Not a very exciting job and very hard to show what I was doing. But uh, we got an improvement. Very significant. Probably... It's probably 85% uh, better, 90% better.